Okay, uh, guys, today we're doing a repair on a um, Crown Victoria. That's uh, in the one of the 80s models, Crown Vicks. Uh, someone bought it from eBay. Won't mention the seller's name, but anyway, the uh, uh, unit quit working, so they sent it to me for a repair. Uh, the wiring, wiring in this car is horrendous. I've never. I mean, I've built quite a few of these cars, and I've never seen anything like this. Um, large 5mm LEDs in the front, which are way too big and gaudy for a small car. Actually, too big even for the 18th scale cars, but anyway. Again, I didn't build this one, thank goodness. Um, you can see some of the wiring. Like I said, it's just all exposed. Nothing's really tied down real well. Um, probably the main reason this car isn't working, something ended up shorting out, but... We're cutting it out. I want to take out a lot of this wiring, uh, trim a lot of this down, uh, combine some ground wires, and uh, get it working again. Also, to get this car back together, I guess when the builder made it, you see they cut some holes in the interior, uh, which really isn't necessary to get everything to fit in there. But some but some people obviously build things a little bit differently than others. Uh, there you can see the large LEDs in there in the back package tray. And then also, the gas tank has been cut away uh, with a large switch. There you can see the switch for the siren kit that's also installed in this car. Um, just not up to standard as far as I'm concerned, the way this, uh, way this car is built. Uh, there's the speaker for the siren. actually did drill some holes in the bottom of the... Uh, chassis of the car there for some of the sound to come out so at least they went that far with it I guess they were busy cutting holes they figured drilling a few extra holes wasn't going to hurt anything uh, but there we have it I'll uh, get this car together no circuit boards involved with this one uh, there was a um, I did have a uh, one of the fourth tone uh, siren kits installed in it uh, that's the only board that's actually used the uh, rest of the uh, all the LEDs are just random flashing which is probably why a lot of this wiring is here. You can see the, I don't know if you can actually see some of the resistors down here in the bottom. Um, I think those kind of group resistors together. Usually when I build these cars, I put a resistor on each LED. Uh, makes for a neater flash. Um, just actually looks a lot better. It ends up being a lot neater instead of cramming a bunch of resistors together and just throwing a bunch of hot glue on top of them. And then you've got, you know, ground wires and hot or uh, positive wires running all over the car. But anyway, it makes a lot. Uh, Makes a lot neater appearance once the car is finished if you do it that way. But anyway, uh, again, this is not my car. Don't confuse this with anything I would possibly even sell, uh, let alone build even for to keep on a shelf of my own. But uh, uh, we'll get this thing together and uh, we'll get another video here when it's finished up.